So today's going to be a lot different than what we're used to. As you can tell, I am outside. If you'll even look behind me, you'll see some headstones, some old tombstones. We're in one of my favorite places um, in my world. We are at an old historical cemetery that's just across the road from where I live. And there is this very long, if you can kind of look here to the side, um, there's this very long driveway that goes in a complete circle all the way around the cemetery. And I have spent hours and hours and hours walking out here in this cemetery. It has been my place of peace. It's been the place that I have just poured out my heart to God over the years. In the last 16 years, there's no telling how many miles I've put on over here, and there's no telling how many tears that I've cried. There's no telling how many times I have danced up and down this lane and just sung. Um, there's only cattle out here. Let me show you. On the other side of the fence, I don't know if you can see out across the pasture, there are cattle on the other side, and none of them had made fun of my singing yet, but it's not unusual for me just to break out in praise songs to the Lord because it's just private over here, and it is one of the most precious places in the world to me. Um, I know that uh, we have been sharing a cup of tea every time we've been getting together, but it was way too pretty of a day for me to stay in the house today, and I thought it would be really awesome for you to get to see this special place of mine. And I also want to challenge you. You see, when Miss Alicia asked me to start doing these videos at the beginning of the year, um, she asked me to do some inspirational videos. Um, some words of encouragement on fulfilling our purpose and our plans in life and walking out our destiny. And as I've thought back over my life, especially over the last 16 years since we've lived in this place, I realize that there's one thing that holds true in trying to um, figure out what I'm supposed to be doing with my life, to know what is my purpose and how do I even know how to fulfill my destiny when I don't know what that is. And I believe that there is one huge key to us being able to understand that, and I believe it's in the quiet moments with God. I believe it's in the moments where we get away from all of the busyness and all of the distraction and all of the crazy busy thoughts going on inside of our head that just bombard us with what we need to do and what's expected of us and um, even all of the toxic thoughts that the enemy puts our way and that the world pours into us. I often think about Mary and Martha and I don't know about you, but I have a tendency to be more of a Martha. I can be really busy. I love doing things. I love planning things. I love being with people. And I, I enjoy serving them and doing things for them. And so sometimes in my life, it has been um, an on-purpose decision to get away from all of that and to spend quiet time with Jesus and to be a Mary to get into a place where there's no distractions. Yeah, the cows moo. And to be honest, one morning I came over and a mama cow had just had her baby calf. And there is just something about nature. Romans even declares it. All of nature just shouts out that there is a God. And we just need to get away. Maybe you don't have a place like this. Look at that tree. Do you see that tree? It is just so absolutely beautiful out here. Maybe you don't have this, but there is a place that we can get away and we can find quiet and we can find solitude with Jesus and where we can get at his feet and we can pour out our hearts to him and we can be still and we can know that he is God. I know the very first time that I got to share a WOW video with you at the beginning of this year, I shared with you that God was really working with me on one particular thing, and that is the word trust. And the truth is, we can never have peace if we don't trust. If we don't trust that He is God, and that He will be who He says He is, and that He will do what He says He will do. And it's in these quiet times 
You know, in the Bible, it talked about Jesus getting away from the crowds. He'd get up in the morning and he'd go off by himself away from the disciples and he'd go be alone with his father. That's what God's calling us to do. And I think one of the major um, weapons that Satan uses against us in our generation is just the busyness of life. The kids have to be here and we've got an appointment there and we're all over the place and our calendar is full with go here, do this, catch up on that. Sometimes I'm even kind of amazed on Sunday mornings when I go to church and I run into my friends and I'm like, hey, how are you? Guess what we all say to each other? So busy. I just can't believe how busy it is. That is such an ugly four-letter word, B-U-S-Y. It has taken control in our lives. And if we're busy, we can't be still and know that He is God. And so if we want to know what God's purpose is for our life and we want to fulfill our destiny, we've got to listen. We've got to be still long enough to hear what He wants to tell us. The Holy Spirit will lead us and guide us into all truth. And He's going to do it in all different kinds of ways. But the way that we can help best in that is to get away. Get away with the Word of God. Get away with the Lord and spend some quiet time with Him and just let Him speak to our hearts. We all have a destiny to fulfill. And if you're like me, as we have watched all of these nat natural disasters taking place all over our country, all over the world, we're realizing as the Bride of Christ that our groom is coming soon. It won't be that much longer and He's going to come and He's going to take us away. But we are here for such a time as this. We are here in 2017 to fulfill our purpose and our destiny. And in order to do that, we need to be able to hear the voice of God. We need to be able to hear what He wants us to do, what He wants us to do with our time and our money and with our resources. So we have to push away the busyness of this life and we have to get away to the quietness and to the solitude and to be still and know that He is God and allow Him to guide and direct our path. And when we do that, there is such joy and there is such peace that no matter what comes our way, we're going to know in our heart of hearts that we're doing exactly what God created us to do, that we are fulfilling our purpose and we are walking out our destiny. Because as we go and talk to Jesus day by day, and as our Abba Father speaks to us and tells us what we're supposed to do that day and, and what our life is meant for, as we're doing that day by day, there will be so much joy from just walking out in our giftedness and fulfilling our purpose and our plans that we will know that no matter what day He comes, we don't know the exact day or hour. We can know the approximate time and we're seeing all the signs. But until the moment He breaks open those clouds and He comes home to get us, we can know that we are doing exactly what we were created to do when we're taking the time to listen and then just obey. Just do what He's asked us to do. And that will fill us with everything that we need to have the abundant life that Jesus came to give us. So sisters in Christ, I encourage you, be still and know that He is God.